Hello everyone, welcome back to a draw with me video. I didn't think I would say that again. <laughs> it has been a very long time since any draw with me video and especially a traditional draw with me video. I was planning on doing this um, digitally in the beginning, but then I thought, eh, I kind of want to play with some watercolors and do some drawing again um, traditionally. So I thought you guys would like to come with me and join me for maybe a 30 minutes, yeah, around 30 minutes uh, video where I draw and paint and do some art. So I have, I bought this, when did I buy this? Like in March, I think. Uh, it's Arches watercolor paper and it's in a square block because I like the size from when I used to use Illo sketchbooks. Then I have uh, Faber-Castell's pencils. I'll put those away though because we want to use those for a while. And I also have my trusty watercolors that you guys recognize. Is this such a blast from the past? Like I know that I haven't been gone that long, but like this is, I feel like is very much something from the olden times and the thing that I said that I would never do again which is draw with, <laughs> with me videos and here we are weird how the world and life works I would say um, and I got some other pencils and stuff like that I don't know if I'm going to hmm sketch before this like normally I would like sketch my idea oh I have printer paper I can use printer paper yeah, let's see if we can come up with something to sketch. Should I zoom in? As always, I think I'm going to do something with flowers. Maybe like some sort of... Some, maybe some Halloween-ish with some teeth and a growling beast of some sort. That would be kind of cool. Oh, I wanted to say as well, um, the reason that I made that video, how long ago was that? Like in March? And I didn't do any more videos after that. Um, it's because I kind of forgot. <laughs> I don't have any good excuses. I started like working full time almost on my new comic project, which was Nettle and the Hush Hush, which some of you guys probably know. Um, and I like wrote the whole first book and I sketched the whole book and I started working on chapter one. That's how far I got until June. Uh, and I was gonna make a video off of the, the one that I did last time with like, oh, I'm sick um, thing. But then I just kind of got lost in my work and like trying to get things to start running again. Like normally, <laughs> going back to normal life pretty much. And uh, sadly, in June, during one of my checkups, they found that I still am not cured of cancer, which sucks so much. Uh, so I'm going to have another winter of treatment. I hopefully will have some answers in like the middle of October. I don't know when this video will be up, but I'm suspecting I will finish it pretty quickly. Or when I feel like this, where I'm like, ooh, I can do a video, ooh, I can start doing things again. Um, it doesn't take long until it's posted. <laughs> it's when I don't want to do the video that it takes a while for me to post it. Uh, but is that too, too creepy? Skeleton? Hmm. Like, that one's cool. Like, I like how the shape is. I keep thinking about what would be the best like first drawing back thing for my channel but I don't think that I would know <laughs> I think that I can't stress so much about it I can't I then I would never do it you know like oh what is the perfect drawing oh is it like this is it this and this is this and, and then it'll never be the right one and then I'll just end up like not doing anything so hmm we could like not fill up the whole canvas, but like if this is the canvas, we can have his. Kind of 
kind of inspired by my friend who got a cat the other day. I like the body a lot. Oh, it can be like an autumn beast. That's more cool. I was thinking of greens, but... Orange is better. But yeah, I like this. It's a nice shape to it. So I think we'll we'll go ahead and sketch something like that onto the paper. Arches. I don't think I used art. What did I use arches before? I don't know if I used arches or something else. I don't remember. All right. Red pencil. I don't have an eraser, so that's clever of me. Did the white balance just change naturally? It did change. Let me see if I can change that back. That should stay the same now. I haven't drawn traditionally for so long. I've gotten so used to the uh, to the digital way. Yeah, I don't have any erasers. So, oops. How do I do that? Do I? I'm sure I have one in one of these. Like, do we mind that his head is? I'll just move the leg forward. I think that's the only thing that needs to happen for that to work. Like, the chest to be like here. I feel like I want his eyes to be rounder. Anyway. I'm gonna probably zoom in on it. Oh, that was that was oh that was embarrassing. I, that's happened before and it's so embarrassing. I'm so sorry. I pretty much tried to undo, like tap on the paper to undo. I have become fully digital. There we go. Oh, he's such a cool beast. Okay. I didn't actually I, I didn't actually plan on doing a creature design, but as you can see, that's what's happened. This is one that I use for um, lining. It says it's water-based warnish. Oh wait, maybe that's this thing. Whatever. This is one that I use for lining. I I really really like it. I know that a lot of people are like very surprised that I use such a soft pencil for like lining, and like it works well with the watercolor. But it just it just works. I can't explain it. Start on that side. Move this way. Let's see. This is actually so nerve-wracking for me. You have no idea. <laughs> like, I'm focusing so hard. Wait, coffee break. I'm focusing too much. I'm just gonna have fun with it. If I mess up, that is fine. Finished. Not perfect, isn't it? See, I'm gonna forget to talk if I'm gonna do this. It's a bit wonky, but I will. I will accept him for who he is.
he looks so cool he's like fear me uh, I don't know if I like those we'll see they might disappear but in the watercolor process I'm honestly only thinking about the colors for this and how cool it's gonna get focusing so much I can't even can't even talk but we'll get there I know that these lines are gonna get very blurry once I start watercoloring oh and I was getting thicker because of the pencil Yeah, the camera might wiggle a bit while I draw. Um, it's just because it's uh, connected to the table, who's that's not very sturdy. So it could very much uh, be improved by having some something that stopped it moving. Uh, let's move down to his. Yeah, I don't know how many videos I'm gonna make a week or a month. Probably not more than once a week for sure. Um, but I'll try to do at least once a month. But you know how my promises like this goes. Like I'll say that and then I'll like, you won't see me for two months or three or half a year. Um, but I feel like now it should be easier to sit down and just do something like this, you know? Because now I, I have the stand, stand I have set up. This is going to be here for like, I'm not going to move this camera. Like I just move it up and it'll still be there. And so I will see it. So then hopefully I will continue to like draw on it or like sit down to draw. <laughs> Like, even if it's just digital, I can do that too, you know? There's so many leaves. Why did I do this to myself? I know I'm doing them quite roughly. Like, they're not like... Can you say anatomically correct for leaves? They're not anatomically correct. For leaves. As a, a question for everyone who's watching the video and wants to engage a bit in the chat I would love to know your favorite like video that I've ever made like which one do you remember and is the one that sits close to your heart whenever you think of my videos like I just want to know Okay, I need to try and fix the shape and the shape is this. It doesn't look right, but I don't think it's going to look very nice when I do this. 
but I have to try. I think I've done it. It's been a while since I've done this much. Traditionally. I keep saying that it's really boring, I know. It's just what I keep thinking. And also, these videos, if you haven't watched them before, they are very rambly. They really are truly very boring. <laughs> but I know people like them, so. And I like them too. This is all from. I don't know when this is from. I probably need to clean that off a little bit. Actually, let's put that on sign. Let's just like... I don't know which color these are, so I, I feel like I need to clean it completely off, not just reuse it. But I probably just use this side, so I won't worry too much. There we go. Okay, oh, <gasps> I haven't done this for so long. Okay, I know, mm, let's start with like a cleaning up that one because it was a bit green. Let's start. Mm. Oh, that was so nerve wracking. Start with the yellow one and move out. I'm sure I'm going to use some other colors, but... I like starting somewhere. Because I think I want, like... This area to be mostly... Mostly lighter and then the tips of all the hairs and stuff darker again. It does bleed a little bit into the pencil, but really not bad, I think at least. I'll post all the names of the colors in the comment section because I know that I have it stored somewhere. Um, and you can just look at the lightest yellow that is not lemon yellow, I think. I think this is like very pure yellow. So, um, I have a cool yellow and I have a warm yellow. Question is, do we go more brown or do we go... more vibrant? I know myself and I probably will go more vibrant. Then I have my orange here. I think that would be cool. Okay, let's let's just go for it. It's been a while since I've done controlled watercolor, so I think I'm mostly going on instinct. I think a lot of this illustration is gonna um get built from the from when I do my colored pencils. It's usually when I have more control to like add even more definition. I was thinking about putting this on his face as well, but I'm not, I'm not that confident yet. I kind of want to wait and see what I actually want to do. Oh, I have an idea. I might actually put some gouache on the back to just get some really nice, like, pops of color, I think. 
because with a white background it's kind of like dull but I think with a darker dark brown red or something it would be so cool it's a leaf lion of course it's a leaf lion why haven't my brain picked up on that before now like right now it's like it's a leaf lion and no shit <laughs> are you kidding me all right I'm gonna get the next color which is this deep deep red which I think when we mix it with the it's actually kind of a um, cooler red but it should get really bright once I mix it with some some of the orange definition before we move on it gets really dull really quickly I've forgotten how much watercolor is kind of dull down but I also feel like that's because of paper types richness what kind of colors color color eyes will he have I kind of like them white is that stupid though like it's a bit boring but I feel like if I gave him eyes he becomes less like, elemental and more animalistic, I guess, or like more like something that you would recognize as a feeling living thing. But for some, for some reason, like I want him to be this elemental beast. Green eyes. That's like typical, isn't it? If I'm gonna do anything, I'll put it in later. Maybe. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I don't wanna. I think it would be a bad choice. I think I would regret that choice. Okay, I think I really, really would. Oops, did I say? There we go. Alright. I'm gonna leave it now. Or maybe, what? Mm. I think I need to. Yeah, I think I needed that. Did you see? I have a hair dryer now. <laughs> it only took me, what, three years? Two years? Gee. All right, I actually bought these new because I had them in England. Since I moved to um, back to Norway now, everything is new um, because I had to buy everything new again. I gave everything away because I didn't think that I was ever going to use these again. Turns out I do want to use them again. Oops. Yeah, I do this to get it more yellow. This is the only way I can get watercolors to actually be a bit more vibrant especially yellows and if you're shaking a lot it's because I'm shaking the table so I know sorry this is gonna be so annoying because I can see that everything's just gonna keep moving <laughs> I'm sorry all right let's zoom in on the face I usually use this to fill in parts of where I missed with my watercolor and just all the places where I would like to like oh this is where I would like more color but I was too afraid to try and add it with the watercolor it 
does look like a autumn lion. I think I'll only do it on the on these bits and not actually anywhere. Well, I don't know. Let's try it. Because I think I need to go darker if I want this to be even more textured. This is going to hurt my hands so bad. Like I can already feel it. It's like, ooh, this is so cool and I want to do it for the whole piece. But I'm a bit afraid that it's going to take so long. <laughs> Let's try and just do it in the important parts. Oh, getting tired. This is a lot of detail work. I didn't think I was going to put this much detail in it. But it's really paying off, so I don't... I don't mind, but at the same time, I'm like, oh, maybe you should start slowing down some, honey. Oh my goodness, so much movement. I'm gonna, I am gonna darken everything around here. So I'll see what kind of, I have some gouache. So let's see which one would fit. We could try, I have this, which is, um, you can't see it, but it's matte acrylic and it's really fun to paint with. Oops, and we have a nice dark violet, which I think would be really nice because I have a pink Which is really pretty and also an orange, but I think that would be too light. So I think we're gonna go for the violet and then I can just Pick it from the bottle and just paint around it and we'll see how it goes. I think I think that's what I want to do Technically you should be testing this before you do it. Don't follow my advice kids. Well, actually don't do wait well, don't do what I do, do what I say. So test this before you do it. Ooh. I probably should have some more pressure. Oh, why does it come out so splotchy? This is nerve wracking. Okay, this brush is good. I just, I'm a bit afraid of this area. Wait, I have an idea. This one maybe? Okay, that's, that's it. <laughs> I have a lot more control with that, okay. Oh my god! I'm gonna ruin my compact paper already, Jesus Christ. If that had like <laughs> flipped onto my drawing, it would have been the worst thing in my entire life. Let's just hope that it does as advertised and dries flat. This piece though I can definitely say looks like it's inspired by Miss Monster Mel. It wasn't meant to be inspired by her but it definitely looks like it. So if you got that idea then uh, please know that you're not alone. That was <coughs> I started seeing it a little bit ago. I was like oh hmm. I've been following her for so long. Did it. I can't explain how much I focused for that whole thing. Oh my goodness. That could have been a disaster. Oh, and it looks cool. Yes. Okay. 
Reminds me of when uh, I did all my um, my uh, mermaids. They used to be like this, didn't they? Okay, one last thing. And that is to dry it, and then I'll do some ink, and then I'm done. <laughs> First draw with me in two years, or is it two years? I don't remember how long it's been. Okay, so I have the brown pen. I think people would remember from a long time ago. I just want a bit of a darker line here and there. Doesn't that look so much better? Just getting that darkness in there. Just sometimes it just needs that extra little. And now I've gone and done it. Ooh, my head is starting to hurt. I have to focus so much to get this this far. final touches I think so now I am just oh wait oh, I have these ones too I did remember that I have some gold pens that could look really good as like the accent color or the accent accent effect I guess woohoo golden gold time he looks so cool though. <laughs> Look at him. Like I know this bit is kind of weird, but I kind of like it that way. Okay, so I have this pen, which is like that. I'll just, I'll just do a bit of this. I don't think you can actually see that. There you go. Slightly gold here and there. Woohoo! All right, I finished. Let me just clear this up a little bit. Oh, we can do one of those typical ones that I used to do. Wait, I can, uh, I can do this. I use these two. I use this thing. I used this. Hey, there we go. That is a proper draw with me shot if I've ever seen one. <laughs> I hope you guys liked the uh, the video. Uh, it's been a long time coming to do one of these again. I am very happy with this uh, fall dragon, lion, lion dragon, uh, food dog, something like that. Uh, please give me name suggestions or what he is suggestions down below. It's kind of fun to know. And uh, I might sell this uh, keep an eye out for that. I will let you guys know probably in the comment section or on Twitter or Instagram. Just keep your eyes out, peeled for that one. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a lovely evening, day or afternoon wherever you are in the world. And I hope you relaxed and got some work done to this video. Bye bye!